Hello, good evening. This is Bob Miramar once again, and uh, I am so thankful unto the Lord. Just got back home uh, this 11.30 in the evening, coming from our whole Sunday's church activities. We had uh, just launched or relaunched our 5 p.m. service, and so that's the reason why we started very early this morning, and then we're here, and uh, I just finished everything. And this is one thing that I've learned to be sharing with the Word of God and uh, to be excited with the Word of God to be brought out and to be um, shared all over the world. This is one thing that I realized. It is a habit forming. I was not really successful a while ago and I tried it to be broadcasted right at the opposite side of the Isitan Mall in Recto Manila my data signal won't allow me to have my broadcast while waiting for my family uh, getting down from the fifth floor towards the roadside where I was parked when I got out from the park level of uh, Isitan Cinerama Mall Recto Avenue, Quiapo, Manila it is where we are situated uh, it is where uh, Word of Hope Manila is and we are uh, in uh, cinema number 3 and just at the side of the elevator or in front of the elevators we also have a rented place which is called Word of Hope Manila's Activity Center and so it is where we do our 3 o'clock in the afternoon of Sunday service and as well as followed by our 5 o'clock uh, uh, in the afternoon uh, Sunday service it is also where we do our middle, uh, middle of the week services every Thursday at 7 p.m. and as well as our prayer power gathering every Saturday at uh, 7 p.m. and so my brothers and sisters I am just so excited to share with you another message but uh, I apologize that my continuation of uh, the topic and series making our marriage work or thrive and be blessed shall be continued tomorrow because I am catching up my time because I am broadcasting late and most of you already in bed but my children are still on their way back home because we do our respective ministries uh, coming from many different sites just like my eldest after she had uh, preached our first service in manila she went right away to preach to word of hope uh, marikina then after that i don't know if he had her lunch with her husband my son-in-law francis Fra francis <laughs> and they went right away to Taguig to preach to another church and tomorrow morning she will be flying to Bacolod to join with the global youth ministry so this is a very awesome part of our life as servants of God where we do with uh, our personal respective family responsibilities just like my children they have their own respective work they have their own respective business to run and we serve together in a church this is life in the Lord it is lifer uh, it is true in Jesus Christ said uh, what profits a man if he owns the whole world but loses his own soul so my dear friends over Facebook Live, I want to share with you before I change my uh, shirt and you know make myself ready for bed. It is a habit forming. I I'd like I'd like to share with you always the Word of God, and it will be coming from the Book of James. The Book of James is uh, written by the half brother of the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the brother of Jude, who is the author of the Gospel of uh, Jude. So here, uh, in chapter 5, verse 7 to 8, it says, Therefore, 
Be patient, brethren, until the coming of the Lord. Until when? Until the day of the revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ to us. 5 verse 7 of the book of James, it says, Therefore be patient, brethren, until the coming of the Lord. See how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth, waiting patiently for it until it receives the early and latter rain. You also be patient. Establish your hearts, for the coming of the Lord is at hand. Shall we pray? As we thank the Lord for He had given us a very wonderful Sunday and tomorrow is a non-working holiday, I, I think. So our children will not be going to school. My daughter, my, my, my granddaughter will not be going to school. Uh, maybe your family had planned for something else and you're going to do it. Picnic or um, let's say out of town. But let us just pray so that God's blessings of protection and also provision will be received. Are you ready? Let's open our hearts and let us believe God. Let's pray. Our loving and so gracious Father in heaven, we thank you for giving us this wonderful day, a very successful one. We thank you, Lord, for you have given us so much blessings. And when we begin to count one blessing after the other, we are so amazed, O Lord. For we are not blessed just for life, with a breath of life. We also have been blessed with every family member and loved one. We are blessed with a family. And we are blessed with things that we need in order for us to move and operate every day. And you have blessed us, O oh God, a congregation and a church and a family of faith who's really wonderful people, people who love the Lord. And I thank you, God, for everybody where they had expressed their love for you this whole afternoon. They stayed until late this evening. So wonderful to see that the body is being warmed by your precious presence with the powerful anointing of the Holy Spirit. Many of them are tired. Many of them had been awake since yesterday and been working for the whole evening until morning and then they had just changed their clothing and had proceeded to the church and they stayed until tonight past 11. Father, you know it's one of them, so bless them, Lord, tremendously. Bless them, Lord, in numer numerously, incomparably, according to their faith in you, in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, touch their lives continuously. Let your hand of power be upon them and continue to give them that excitement in their hearts to serve you and to meet you every time of service and meeting. Father, continue to fill their hearts with the joy of serving you. Continue to build in their hearts, O Lord, that excitement and enthusiasm that they can be able to make you smile, not only for their personal faith, but also for their whole family and for their job, their profession, their business, or to those students, their studies, Lord God. So, Father, I pray that your hand of mercy and of grace shall continue to cover us, protecting us against the attacks, the arrows, flying arrows of the enemy. We thank you. Bless every home. Bless every father. Bless every mother and kid. Let your love surround. Let the powerful communion of the Holy Spirit linger and stay and strengthen everybody. Father, those hearts are still far from you and away from you, we pray, that there would come a time and it will be as soon as possible that they would recognize you and consider you in their lives, that they would receive you faithfully, that they will serve you honorably in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray. 
Amen. Hi, Matt Eddy. How are you, sir? Yeah, good morning. You're starting your morning service now. Blessings, brother. Matt Eddy is in the United States of America from Hambersham Home. All right. Thank you so much. And hi, hello. Uh, what these two verses is telling us? Therefore, be patient. It goes without saying that what James had written preceding this verse are the things that we should really consider and must be patient so that we can do what God's will is. We can do and respond in total faith compliance to the requirements. For example, what happened? Oh yeah, I'm coming back. The signal was not giving me good um, connectivity. Come now, you reach and weep whole for your miseries that are coming upon you. Your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth eaten. Your gold and silver are corroded and their corrosion will be a witness against you and will eat your flesh like fire. You have heaped up treasure in the last days. Indeed, the wages of the laborers who mowed your fields, which you kept back by fraud, cry out, and the cries of the reapers have reached the ears of the Lord of Sabal. You have lived on the earth in pleasure and luxury. You have fattened your hearts as in a day of slaughter. You have condemned. You have murdered the just, and he does not resist you. So, James is telling about the present condition of the world during his time. He was talking about the cruelty of those who are wealthy in their society. And this particular passage of the scripture is also talking to us today. Can you ever find some people who are very rich and then so abusive and cruel to their employees, to their people, and to the people of your community? Friends, if you are experiencing this, the Bible is speaking to us and it says, okay, these things are prevalent. You can see cruelty, you can see injustice, you can see a lot of slander and destructive elements of the society. They are the reigning uh, individuals or they are up there so influential and nobody could like uh, stop them. Brothers and sisters, even if what happened to the world, it goes without saying, you just be preserved, be patient, don't get affected. Hold your composure. Have faith in the Lord. Just like the book of Hebrews says, looking unto Jesus, the author and perfecter of a faith. <laughs> Brethren, be patient. Not just for two weeks or two years, but be patient until the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Look, how long should a child of God be patient with the world's standards and the world's affairs and the world's ways and how to deal with people? How long? And I'd like to suggest the reason why James, the brother of Jesus Christ and one of the disciples of the Lord, why you should say that? Because patience nowadays is very very so valuable a commodity in the faith. Why I am telling you that? If you want your faith to become successful and triumphant, you must learn how to exercise patience. Somewhere, somehow in the Bible, patience is illustrated as long suffering I can suffer a lot I can suffer more when it comes to prolonging my life in order for me to be able to preach the gospel but I can no longer suffer 
waiting until the Word of God is preached. That's the reason why the Lord is opening up this medium for us believers to use this freely and so that the people all over around the world is benefited with this signal of the internet. They can also hear the sharing of the gospel through this. So if you, you know, you are burning in your heart with passion to share God's word, you will always find ways. So people will literally see how passionate you are because when there are hindrances, you are making ways for you to do that. What burns inside your heart? So what I can leave you tonight, think of something that can be very, very helpful for other people. That you, being blessed of God, can also be a source of blessings for others to receive so that they would also be open for others' needs. And so because of what you're doing, they can also open up their lives and stop to become very selfish and less accommodating and to accommodate more people and to share out what they could. You see, if this whole world can be like a world of people loving Jesus, giving out ourselves, you see, the need of patience will become lesser and lesser. Why the scriptures has to say? Because the need of patience today is very, very much huge. Because only few people know Jesus. And so the Bible has to say, Develop your patience, be patient, brethren, until the coming of the Lord. Say how? The farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth. Once a farmer plants his choicest seeds to the ground. He's not going to harvest tomorrow immediately, but he has to wait for some time to water that seed planted to moisten the soil so that it could germinate and then when it starts to sprout, the farmer still has to wait for so many days, 45 days. Then you will see the leaves Years? Yeah. If a farmer plants a fruit bearing tree, it could be like at least five years to wait. But the Bible is not telling us to be patient within five years. What the scripture says, be patient until the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now the question is, do you want really to have in your position a faith that is powerful enough to wait, to stand by, to be firm and established even in the middle of so many storms in life, so that when Christ comes, He can find you waiting and ready for Him. Patience, long suffering. Let's pray. Let us just ask the Lord to give us patience enough to bring us to the day of the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. I cannot be patient waiting for another moment to share the gospel, but I can be patient waiting for the coming of the Lord. That's it. Okay? Shall we pray? All right. Father in heaven, we thank you that you have allowed us to have a moment to ponder. To ponder upon the subject of patience. Thank you, Lord, because it is your will that we're going to be able to develop an attitude of the heart. That the inner man, the inner person inside of us can be a patient one and we acknowledge the fact that we cannot be patient enough our frail humanity is not that good in patience Lord 
our momentary our momentary patience is just so short lived so we thank you because of the blessed intervention of the holy spirit you can give us that sturdier strong and firm kind of patience lord i pray for those who are watching right now with me with this broadcast this morning touch their life lord and bring forth that those of patience that they need and give them such sensitivity in their hearts so that they can be able to sense and detect where the Holy Spirit is moving so that they can also move along with the directions of the Holy Spirit and their lives will never be the same again you have built us to triumph you have designed us to become victorious and you have prepared for each of us that place place of victory place of promotion place of elevation so that this world should no longer be influenced by evil but influenced by the holy spirit of god in the mighty name of jesus and through every born again person living it out good living it out right in the name of jesus father bless everybody who has tremendous trials and challenges in their life teach their hearts to become stronger in waiting and allow them to develop a faith that will always accommodate your spirit father thank you for loving us and thank you for spreading out love towards the four corners of the world bless the philippines and bless our philippine government bless every law that is on process the bills that they are passing the bills that they are composing may we pray father again and ask you that the holy spirit would guide every member of the house upper house and the lower house so that their laws lord shall be in accordance to your will accordance in accordance to the word of god in the bible lord we long to see that you rule and reign over the nation philippines because you've said if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn away from their wicked ways then i will hear them from heaven i will forgive their sins and i will heal their land father as you develop patience in our hearts heal our land as you hear our prayers teach us how to obey you and to turn away from our wicked ways so that hindrances and blockages for our prayers shall be removed completely demolished and we decree that in the name of jesus we demolish all the works of satan in jesus mighty name and amen so friends thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for devoting your time it is my wish it is my prayer that you can also uh, learn some more from the truth of the bible and then in your respective places offices or in your influence maybe family maybe toward, towards your friends you can share something okay thank you so much for those who are uh, waving at me tonight or this morning rather and i am so excited to do this again uh, early morning when we wake up so as you prepare for yourselves for a brand new day monday uh, maybe by six o'clock in the morning or earlier than that after this uh, we will go online again thank you so much have a blessed monday enjoy enjoy your family enjoy the love 
enjoy the blessings of the Lord and be open for all the people around you so that you can share them the Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom and I am happy to serve, excited to see you because Jesus is going to be revealed sooner. Thank you so much. I salute you. Battery low.